Good morning, it's Saturday the 21st of January 2023. It's a freezing cold. Um, I'm in the shop, yesterday was so bitter and it feels even colder today, but it's a shorter day. It's nearly 10 o'clock. I've come down a bit later just to save myself spending so much time in the cold shop and I finish at four today, so. Um, I've got a lady bringing me some stock. She sent me some photos via Facebook. So I think she's bringing me that this morning. I've got a little job lot that I bought on eBay as a little bit of a punt. So I'll have a little look through that. I've got a few little glasses that a friend dropped off for me. So I need to get those out and uh, get myself sorted. So first, as usual, coffee and list. It's only just gone 10 and the lady's already been with my boxes of stock. So I've got that lot to sort out, it's quite a lot. Thought I'd show you this eBay order first. So I probably overpaid. I paid £18. I was a bit bored and I thought, you know, just scrolling on eBay. And then I thought, oh, go on. I'm not going to lose on it. Probably won't make that much profit on it. But anyway, uh, we have got a little jewellery box with a sort of gem on the top. Uh, foreign. It's a musical one. Does it work? Doesn't sound like it now packing wise it was really well packed in some ways but in other ways this is a little set of pepper pots that have all got pepper in and now the jewelry box is full of pepper and this little jewelry bag was all covered in pepper everything's covered in pepper so although they packed it really well on the outside the inside was all peppery, which isn't great, but it won't take too long to clean it out, so it's not a big deal. Anyway, so I paid £18. Will I make a profit? Uh, a box that may make music or not. Should we try it a bit more and just see? Oh. Sounds like it needs a bit of... It's probably pepper dust in there, actually. I'm not going to do that. It's going to make me sneeze, isn't it? I might get my husband to see if he can do anything to make that move a little bit easier. I've got this little unusual vase, I guess it is. It's a pretty little thing. Um, feels, that is glass, but for somehow it feels really light and plasticky. Um, but it's pretty, isn't it? With the leaves and the flowers and stuff. No maker's mark or anything, but it's a cute little thing. I'll be able to sell that. I never know how you pronounce these. Quitch, 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 something. Anyway, you know what I mean. But I did like the Celtic design on the sides there. I thought that was rather nice. Uh, a little bit of jewellery. It's a brooch like this, a bit of bling. Um, I wonder if that's got a bit pepper dust all over it. Maybe it needs a little bit of a, a rub down to make it sparkle a bit more. Well, that's pretty, isn't it? Um, this one, unfortunately, has got a few little bits missing. And then another little round one. That's quite cute. Again, it could just do with a little bit of a... I wonder if I just put, put it in a bit of water, clean it down a little bit. But that is really nice, isn't it? And then birds. Although I'm wondering if... I'm wondering if it's got a bit missing. I wonder if it should have had another wing. Do you think it did? You see that little hole? I bet that was a wing. Because it's got one wing on the back, but no wing on the front. What a shame. Uh, some sugar tongs. Love them with the, the hand claws like that. I think they're great. Has got some marks on, but I'm guessing it's just silver plate. I haven't looked at it closely but I'm assuming it's silver plate uh, a couple of chains of sorts is that a necklace what's what, what's going on with this it's all very tarnished and that opens up like this I'm confused is that some sort of glad no that looks like you'd attach it to some glasses from those glasses things, doesn't it? But then what's this? Okay, that's that's your baffling thing. What you tell me, what's this for? 
shortish double chain like this this at one end although that can move all the way along wherever and then this at the other end no idea what that is there's another similar thing so a chunky chain with this at one end and this at the other what's all that about no idea tiny little dish it says dresden on the back cute little thing hat pin and then these pepper pots which are cute i've just got to clean them up and then those let's say this on the top so they look fancy but now that they're all peppery and stuff it doesn't look quite so nice That is a job for the cleaning these up is a job for another day. So I'm going to put those in that box. I'll take jewelry box upstairs as well because that needs a bit of clean. And yeah, let me know what these are because seriously, I have no idea. My uh, iPad just keeps crashing. It's too cold. It just <laughs> switches when it's really cold. It just switches off which is really frustrating when I'm trying to use it for researching and looking things up. And obviously later I want to use it for editing this video, but um, I'm going to have to manage without. <sighs> it's really useful having an iPad. Um, I think it is, I've had it five, six years, so I think maybe it's time to get a new one. How many coffees is too many coffees? My husband just brought me another coffee <laughs> and a hot water bottle, so I'm on my third coffee. Oh, and yesterday we had some mincemeat left over from mince pies he made some mincemeat cookies so i'm gonna try that dipped in my coffee so these are the first bits from that lot that i got from the lady this morning uh these are actually perfume bottles so they open up here they're old avon ones um so yeah a bit interesting i've got a couple of boxes of these dinner knives uh, very tarnished there's the make um, so I've got a couple of boxes of those and this set of cutlery she said there's one teaspoon missing but everything else is there and again it's tarnished so it needs a bit of a clean but that is the start of that job lot did I show you all the boxes so down here there's my hot water bottle <laughs> so I've got a couple of boxes there that lot to go through should take me quite a while. It's the next thing out of those boxes, some little vintage glasses. And luckily there's six of each, which is really nice. Three different sizes of this rose design. I assume that's a rose, isn't it? I don't know. But anyway, pretty vintage glasses. As you can see, everything's wrapped in newspaper when it came so I had to go buy the photos that she sent me it's all been wrapped really really well but unfortunately people don't notice so I spotted this in amongst the uh, things I said I wanted to buy um, I did say is there any chips or anything on anything and she said she checked them but unfortunately can you see that such a shame because that is a lovely thing but now I don't know whether I'll be able to sell it uh, and in amongst the other stuff were these little whiskey shot glasses can you see those and a whiskey jug hang on not doing very good filming today and also these paperweights i've put them in the, on the shelf so i can have a little look and see if i can do any research on those um these i'll just come back to in a minute but what a shame about this stunning isn't it Make myself a cup of tea. I mean, it's more like a bit of milky water. Didn't leave the tea bag in long enough. But I have got a couple of chocolate hobnobs to cheer that up. I had a little flurry of customers. Um, so I got these two out of that box. There's also two of these. I think they're like candle holders, but they're really sweet blue, bright blue. And I've got this pinky bottle and I also got given some more stuff hang on a minute so I was given these by a customer slash friend <laughs> um 
and asked just if I will make a donation to charity. I've got this cool ice bucket. I mean, how cool is that? I love it. That is a piece of wonder. I've got these heavy book ends, some wooden fruit, a decanter and a couple of rose bowls. Oh, and these cups. These are like a funky cups and saucers. So I don't seem to be making a dent in the stock that I need to sort. It seems to be expanding, if anything else. Few more bits and pieces from the hall so a nice big uh pedestal bowl this um bars sort of art glass bars a couple of nice blue bottles there is a little one like that as well and a little candle holder like that and this vase was in there there is a sticker on the bottom but i can't make out what it says so I'm going to concentrate on that a little bit more and see if I can make out who's made that. So there are loads of glass bottles. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you. Got all those. I think I'm going to take them upstairs and give them a clean. What does that say? Can you read that? Good old Black House and Co. And then there's lots of these little ones as well. What does that say? Eiffel Tower Fruit Juices. Frill, stick fasts, paste, what that is. Mason's extra extract, Mason's extract, and then this little pot is just full of little lids and things. Does that say stick fast paste? And that's the same. What's this one? Thrill Falls, Manchester. And then this one has got some stone bottles. in that box at the bottom. Looks like more stoneware bottles. It's a plain one. Plain one. Oh look. Clay pipes. Dublin. I think this all must be stuff that's been found while ex excav excavating something because it's all covered in mud, isn't it? have fun sorting through this lot. It's about quarter past three and um, I don't seem to be getting very far with that lot. I've um, got quite a busy weekend. Well tomorrow is a day off just to chill, maybe clean bottles and things like that. Monday we've got quite a busy day. Got to go to Aldi get some shopping because we haven't been since Christmas to do a big shop. And auction viewing and something else, maybe two auction viewings. Can't remember there was something else but anyway it shall be busy um i'm gonna round it up thank you very much for watching i hope you found it interesting the things that i've bought and um have a really great weekend take care stay safe remember to give us a little thumbs up and i'll see you soon